Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you Rubin Carp algorithm for string matching problem. First, let's define string matching problem. We have two arrays of characters, text and pattern. Length m of pattern is less or equal than length n of text. We say that pattern occurs with shift s in text if from element s in text every consecutive character matches corresponding element in pattern. As an example, on current slide we see that pattern ABAA occurs in text with shift equals to 3. There are several algorithms that find a matching string in a text. We will show two of them. Naive string matching and carp rubbing algorithm which main focus of the later. Current slide shows operation of knife string matching algorithm. The pattern P is AAB and the text ACAABC. We can imagine the pattern as a template that we slide next to the text. In each part of four successive alignments, vertical lines connect corresponding regions found to match. They are shaded. A jagged line connects the first mismatched character found, if any. The algorithm finds one occurrence of the pattern as shift equals 2. Worst case running time of naive algorithm is O of n multiplied by m. Now let's take a look at Rabin Karp algorithm. For expository purposes, let us assume that our finite alphabet consists of numbers from 0 to 9, so it has 10 elements. We can then view a string of k consecutive characters as representing a length k decimal number. The character string 31415 thus corresponds to the decimal number 31415. First step is to calculate pattern modulo 13. It's important that modulo is a prime number, here 13. It should be greater than text length. Then we compute values modulo 13 for each possible position of length 5 window. We look for windows whose value modulo 13 is 7, since pattern modulo 13 is 7. The algorithm finds two such windows shown shaded in the figure. The first, beginning at text position 7, is indeed an occurrence of the pattern, while the second, beginning at text position 13, is a spurious hit. For each window, modulo equals 7, we compare pattern one by one character with corresponding window. Current slide shows how to compute the value for a window in constant time given the value for previous window. The first window has value 31415. Dropping the high order g digit 3, shifting left, multiplying by 10 and then adding in the low order digit 2 gives us the new value 14152. Because all computations are performed modulo 13, the value for the first window is 7 and the value for the new window is 8. Now let's take a look at the code. As an ID, I use Visual Studio and the project is a C++ console application. Our string matching, al matching algorithm is called Rabin Carp Matcher and takes the following parameters char array text, char array pattern, integer number base and integer prime number. n variable is length of a text and variable m is length of a pattern. Next we define integer h which value of d to power m minus 1 modulo q. Then we define two variables p and t p is value of pattern modulo q and t is value of first window of a text modulo q. Next, we have while loop 
which iterates over all consecutive windows and check if they equal P. If so, we compare windows elements to pattern Y by one char by one. If we find pattern equal T, we print text with index of a shift. Last piece of code is calculating next T variable, which is current T window without most significant digit, shifted le left by one and adding low order digit. In main function, we print text pattern and indexes when a pattern is found in text. Average running time for Rabin Carp algorithm is O of n plus m but its worst case is O of n multiplied by m and occurs if all modulo values of every window is the same. That's all, thank you for watching.